Authored by Jules Verne and first published in 1864, A Journey to the Center of the Earth is a science fiction adventure story. The tale commences in May 1863, at the residence of Professor Otto Leidenbrock in Hamburg, Germany. While perusing an ancient runic manuscript recounting an Icelandic saga, Leidenbrock and his nephew Axel stumble upon a cryptic message inscribed in runic script. The note includes the name of a 16th-century Icelandic alchemist named Arn Saknesem. Translated into English, the message conveys the following, embark on a journey to the depths of Snæfell's Jökull's crater, where the shadow of Skartaris caresses the land just before the beginning of July. O oh, courageous traveler, by doing so, you will reach the core of the earth. I have accomplished this feat. Orn Saknesem. Compelled by this discovery, Leidenbrock promptly departs for Iceland, accompanied by the initially reluctant Axel. Making swift progress through Kiel and Copenhagen, they finally arrive in Reykjavik. There, they enlist the assistance of Hans Bjelk, an Icelandic guide fluent in Danish and an experienced hunter of eider ducks. They head for the volcano. In late June, they reach the volcano and begin their descent into the depths of the earth. Along their perilous journey, they encounter numerous hazards and peculiar phenomena. Taking a wrong turn, they face a shortage of water, with Axel's life hanging in the balance. Fortunately, Hans comes to their rescue by tapping into an underground river, which gushes forth and is subsequently named Hansbark in the guide's honor. Following the course of the Hansbark, the explorers descend further into the earth, eventually discovering an underground realm. This hidden world reveals an ocean, a colossal ceiling adorned with clouds, and a perpetual aurora that illuminates the surroundings. Constructing a raft from partially petrified wood, they set sail across the underground sea. During their voyage, they encounter prehistoric creatures such as Terichthyodes, referred to as Terichthys, Dipterus referred to as Dipterides, and immense marine reptiles from the age of the dinosaurs, including an Ichthyosaurus and a Plesiosaurus. A violent lightning storm threatens their existence, but instead, it propels them towards an extensive fossil graveyard. Among the ancient remains are bones from creatures like Pterodactylus, Megatherium, Deinotherium, Glyptodon, Amastodon, and the remarkably preserved body of a prehistoric man. Continuing their expedition, Leidenbrock and Axel explore a forest abundant with primitive vegetation from the tertiary period. Deep within, they are astonished to encounter a gigantic, 12-foot-tall humanoid overseeing a herd of mastodons. Uncertain of the creature's intentions, they cautiously depart from the forest. Persisting in their coastal exploration, the adventurers locate a passageway indicated by Saknesem as their path forward, only to find it obstructed by a recent cave-in. To clear the passage, they plan to use gun cotton to blast through the rock. Meanwhile, they paddle their raft out to sea to avoid the explosion. Implementing their strategy, they inadvertently open a bottomless pit beyond the obstructing rock, which engulfs them as the sea rushes into the vast chasm. After a harrowing descent at breakneck speed, their raft changes direction, ascending through a volcanic chimney that ultimately propels them back into the open air. Upon regaining consciousness, they discover that they have been ejected from Stromboli, a volcanic island situated off the coast of Sicily. The trio returns to Germany, where they are celebrated with great acclaim. Professor Leidenbrock is hailed as one of the eminent scientists of the era, Axel weds his beloved Grauben, and Hans resumes his peaceful life as an Eiderduck hunter in Iceland. Check out our playlist links at the end of this video for similar great reading ideas. If you want to buy this book or the audiobook, you'll find links below in the description along with a free trial offer with Audible who have the world's largest selection of audiobooks. Thanks so much for watching, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We hope to see you again soon.